out yesterday working working the land in this hundred degree heat and uh the tractor got so hot that the pto lift stopped working i had to stop i'm trying to prepare the um see if i get this video right I'm trying to prepare for round two of the uh 2022 three million calorie garden plot I want to hit I want to hit sweet potatoes in here now's the time to plant sweet potatoes but I've got to prepare the land but uh, this is about what it's really like out there in the country it's dangerous okay you know farming gotta make a decision which way to go farming is uh, one of the most dangerous professions there is and out here in the woods or you know people talk about bugging out you know there there's a guy that bought some land and uh, there's a guy that bought some land never know what you're going to find out in the woods. It's like I'm trying to say to the average city guy that thinks they're going to be able to bug out into the country, into the woods. It's very dangerous. You don't know what you're going to run into. That just happened to be some armadillos. But look here. snake hole. It, it's a lot of work. Now, if you remember, the uh, I planted my, ro my uh, fall garden or my spring garden in February in 20 degree weather. This is the kind of stuff I'm walking through. So I planted it in 20 degree weather and uh, got down to 19 degrees actually with the wind chill and I harvested in about a hundred degree weather okay the reality of, of a city guy bugging out into the woods is crap you will not make it you will not survive if you think you're gonna bug out into the countryside these people that live out here they're doing it for a living you know they're not watching these kind of videos they're too busy. They're too busy trying to trying to grow stuff. Now there's a lot of city people that are buying acreage, hoping to get away. You know, we just had one guy in this area that uh, he found out that this life wasn't for him, and uh, you know he's selling and he's moving on. I think he lasted a year and a half, two years. It's a lot of work, but it's but it's also. You know, farming is one of the most hazardous professions there is. And most of us, we don't have the skill. 
to be able to farm enough food, to grow enough food. I'd like to meet one prepper out there that actually grew enough food to sustain himself and his family for a year. They're not out there. You know, now you could write all these books about survival and, and uh, you know, living in the woods with just your knife. Shit. <laughs> you won't make it. And the problem's not going to be another human. The problem you're going to run into is like in this wilderness environment here, you're going to run into black widows, brown recluse, all kinds of snakes. I think I've got every snake in this, on this land right here. This land, uh, this wilderness area right here, it goes on for about a mile or more. You know, it's about, well, it's pretty wide. And I don't hear coyotes anymore. I think they all got taken out by the neighbors that moved in. You know, all these wild animals are slowly um, disappearing. The hogs are gone. The hogs eat snakes, okay? They know how to dig up snakes and eat them. Uh, So they, they, it created an imbalance in the, uh, in the ecosystem for this area. So if you think about, you know, the ecosystem, you think about an octagon, if you, if you take away one section of that system, the coyotes and the hogs, they're, they're basically all gone. This is going to cause the other animals to multiply and uh, thrive. But, uh, you know, I think the best bet for someone from the city is to stack as much food as you possibly can, okay? I mean, because, look, here's another area. Even though that looks kind of woodsy, that's, that's dangerous in there. See the game trail in there? You can almost make it out. But, uh, yeah, it's dangerous. And I've got I've to hit it home to y'all. Don't buy into the gimmicks. Don't buy the stupid knives, flashlights, and all that other crap. It ain't going to help you. you. That kind of stuff is not going to help you. A city, if you know how to survive in the city. I couldn't really survive that good in the city, okay? I mean... I don't have, I have this, I have a little bit of street smarts, but I'm not an expert, okay? Now, someone from New York, they can make it. They know how to survive in, in that environment, you know, the concrete jungle. But there is no way that they could make it in this kind of environment right here. See this? I mean, this is like dangerous. I mean, if you were to sit here and, uh, like all the sounds and take them in you could tell when something unusual is happening out here when another animal or something's coming into the environment because the sound of the birds and everything will be different and it takes a while to stabilize i like to sit out here and you know soak in the the wildlife environment but uh right now i've got to go and work on that getting that the rest of the field tilled. I'm going to plant sweet potatoes, but uh, it's very dangerous. This is a dangerous environment. You won't get taken out by another human out here. You'll either freeze to death in the winter or get a heat damn stroke in the summer while you're harvesting your crops. You really have to know your body and you have to know when to stop and when to keep going. And, and then, and of course, you got to worry about all these wildlife dangers out here. It's not what it appears to be. Don't go for the hype. Just stack food, stack as much as you can, and hope you can make it through whatever's coming. Most of us don't have a chance at all. You should know that. See you later. Hope you get some out of the video.